Hey y'all, I'm Valerie Schultz. Welcome to our Forever Farm YouTube channel. Uh, I tend to focus on cleaning, cooking, anything about the home. I love to teach who love their husbands, love their children, and just anything home. Cooking, uh, gardening, crafts, anything. If you think this is something you would be interested in, something that you would enjoy, please subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel. I've had a lot of questions about the background, my kitchen area. First of all, I want to tell you that it was not this big, which is not still not big, but it wasn't this big when we remodeled our house. Our house was built in 1887 and we had to redo the whole thing. And I felt like I would be claustrophobic in a small kitchen, so we added eight feet to it and it made all the difference. The other thing I wanted to do is have a pantry. Could not figure out where to have a pantry at. So I did an open pantry, which is open shelves. So this is my open pantry. A lot of people said it reminds them of the Cracker Barrel, which is a great compliment to me. Uh, one day we'll uh, have a deep dive into my pantry and see what all's in here. So here's another thing everybody asked me about. Last Christmas, my children went in together and got us an ice maker. It's the brand name is First Build. They saw it on the Instagram and they uh, found it on sale. And uh, we absolutely love it. Now I will tell you this: I we did not know what we were doing when we first got it. And I watched a YouTube channel on it. Imagine that. And it. Uh, explain how to put the water in, which is a countertop. It's not connected to any water. You just pour the water in. So it's opal ice. It is opal ice, and you will become addicted to it. I can tell you that. We absolutely love it. So easy. You just put uh, water in it, and it makes ice. We turn it on in the mornings and uh, then we turn it off at night. It's great. So the price range, I, I believe it's around $600, but my kids got it on sale. So I think they paid around four for it, is what they told me. And honestly, we're wanting one for the lake. Hint, hint to my girls. Okay, another thing I love in my kitchen, uh, one of my blogging friends told me about this. It's a Hamilton Beach water heater upper. <laughs> I don't know the name of it, but it's by Hamilton Beach. It takes 90 seconds to heat up this kettle of water. It's electric and I love it. Uh, another thing I love in my kitchen is this stove. It is a gas stove uh, and we have natural gas. Uh, it has an electric oven and I love that. Uh, it's a five burner. Uh, it, it's just great. It is uh, from Sears, and it's a Kenmore Elite. Okay, another thing. This I get a lot of questions about this. A lot of people think this is just a huge refrigerator. This is also a Sears uh, product, and it's a Kenmore Elite. Uh, this is a refrigerator, and this is the freezer. And I love both of these. One of my friends had one, and I fell in love with it. So... Uh, that's what we got. This is another thing I love. It's a Berkey water filter. Um, and, and we use this, it sits next to my sink. And uh, this is what we use for water. And you just pour the water in the top of it. It has filters up here that filter the water. And uh, the filters only have to be washed about once a year. Uh, they say that you can actually take water from a river uh, a lake and you can filter it through here. We loved it so much that we got one for our RV at the lake. Here's another one of my favorite things. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but it's a Cuisinart, Cuisinart ice cream maker countertop. It's great, electric. Uh, you can do your regular recipes in it. You just have to half them. But uh, I make the ice cream and then I put it in small containers and freeze it in the freezer. It's great. Another one of my favorite things are all my iron skillets, and this is actually not all of them. 
Now this collection is priceless to me. Um, I love my iron skillets. A lot of these come from Sweet Hunter's grandmother and I wouldn't take anything for them. I, um, I use them all the time. This is my cornbread pan. Uh, this one right here is makes a great uh, cornbread too if you want it real thin and I use it a lot too. <clears throat> this is my pie pan that I, I make pies on. I just put the pie plate on there. Just a small iron skillet. This is probably my most used pan, and it's a biscuit pan, and I love it. Uh, this one right here is a deep iron skillet, and it's great to do my okra or squash in it at garden time. And this is my Grandma Cochran's. It's my mother's mom's, my grandmother's iron skillet. It's big. I love it. I've got a lot more. I've got several more at the RV, and I've got some in my outdoor kitchen. As you can see, these are seasoned well, and one of the reasons is because I use them. That's the main reason. Uh, but I'll be showing soon on a video how to season one. When the grandkids come over, and actually some friends' kids, uh, they always expect me to make them a milkshake. This is like a reproduction, but I love it. It makes great milkshakes. This is another priceless thing I have. It's my Grandma Cochran's cookie jar. I love it. She used to put vanilla wafers in it and she always brought, bought the Nilla wafer brand. And by the time we'd get there, they'd, they'd be sitting in the cookie jar, they'd be soft. So I love to put my Nilla wafers in here and let them get soft. So if you watch my Dutch oven crusty bread recipe, which is heavenly, I love it. This is what I cooked it in. It's a cast iron uh, Dutch oven with an, it's an enamel on the inside. And I just love this. And like I say, you can look that up. It's Dutch oven crispy bread on my YouTube channel. And I would just love it if you would subscribe, give me a thumbs up. You can click the little bell that uh, lets you know that uh, when I post a video, because not all of them go on Facebook. Uh, and that way you'll be the first to see. Eventually, I'm going to share my whole house with y'all. The, the whole thing. It's, n it's not a house. It's a home. It was built in 1887, and we'll get more into that later. <laughs> hey, sit that down. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here one minute. Come here. So if you watched my Dutch oven crisp, uh, crisp, 